Hey guys, and welcome to, surprise, surprise, another thrift haul. Who would have guessed it on this channel? Normally in this part of the video, I do a little like self-deprecating bit about how my life is falling apart and I'm a complete mess and I'm low-key depressed and I cry myself to sleep. But honestly, like I'm feeling fucking great right now. I took a weekend off for the first time in a very long time. I went to the beach with David and I literally did not check my phone for like eight hours, which is not that crazy of a feat, but God damn it, I have not done that in a very long time. Sorry if that isn't the hashtag relatable teen content you wanted, but I don't know, I feel really good right now. And I thought I'd share that with you guys because it can be so exhausting to feel like you have to be angry angsty and angry at the world all the time just to be relatable on the internet. So anyways, I have a lot of clothing to share with you guys. This isn't even like half of it. As always, I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys from like normal physical thrift stores because they are popping here in LA. But I get so many comments that are like, you are so lucky to live in LA. Where do you thrift? Because my thrift stores kind of suck. So I thought I would try out the wonders of the internet. We're going to take a ride on the internet. And today our destination is the World Wide Web. So grab your surfboards and knots. we're gonna hang 10. And do some online thrifting as well. This is the part in the video where I don't flash you guys my address so that I don't get stalked by creepy guys who watch my videos. This is the part in the video where I say this is sponsored by Threda, which is basically like a thrift store, but online. And I'm actually so excited to work with this company. To be honest, like most of the time, I get really nervous and I hate filming the sponsored part of videos because I, just feel like such a sellout, but I think ThreadUp is like genuinely really good company that you guys will like. I know it can be so hard and demoralizing if you live near thrift stores that are just not popping. Like I have looked through enough Forever 21 shirts from the early 2000s in my day and I don't want any of them. Or if you just want another option for clothing that is sustainable and affordable, because also like sustainable clothing so fucking expensive. Like I've done reformation hauls and stuff where everything was like $100, $200. So this is a great option for stuff that's like $15, but equally sustainable, if not more, because it's all secondhand. Am I making sense? I don't know. Um, let me just show you guys what I got. Okay, oh, well, I don't know why I'm holding the box. The first thing that I actually got was the outfit that I'm wearing right now, which I was gonna try bottling this sitting down for you guys, but I think I'm just gonna flash all of you, so. Cut to the separate modeling clips now. So first up, I picked up these corduroy overalls, which I really love because I've had denim overalls in the past, but they've always felt a little bit too farm girl for me. So I like that the corduroy is a little bit more of a luxurious wintry fabric and it makes the overalls feel more grown up. These ones are from Urban Outfitters. Pretty much everything I got from ThreadUp is like originally from Urban Outfitters, which I love because you guys know I'm the biggest Urban Outfitters hoe of all time. <laughs> to be honest, when I went on ThreadUp site, I literally just sorted by Urban Outfitters and my sizes. And that was like everything that I looked for because they know how to make a good design. Oh, a tip when you're online thrifting, even though I'm very new to the whole online thrifting thing, <laughs> is to think about when you're searching for brands, what brands age well. So even though Urban Outfitters is a little bit trendy, I feel like overall, Get it? Because it's like overall, but overalls are what I'm talking about. Okay, back to the video. They have a kind of vintage aesthetic that ages a little bit better than something like Forever 21, which is like very, very trendy and in the moment. Everything I bought was probably from Urban like three or four years ago, but I still think that it looks really cute nowadays. But the estimated original price for these overalls was $60 and I got them for $14, which is such a steal. And I also got this turtleneck to layer underneath, which I think is like the perfect turtleneck. This one is from a brand called Classiques. Entier? The French are pelting me with croissants right now. That was awful, but it is some type of vintage brand. The turtleneck is the perfect height, so I don't have to fold it over, but it does hug my neck quite well. It has this lovely ribbing pattern. I love how it has like a little chevron design around the armpit too. I love basics that have little details to them and it's 100% silk, so bougie as fuck. Don't know when I'm gonna get the time to dry clean this, but for the meantime, I am loving it. So the estimated original retail was $321. What the fuck, that's an expensive turtleneck. But I got it for $40. So a little bit on the pricey side for something thrifted, but you guys know I am a hoe for vintage pieces and especially for quality basics that are gonna last me so long. This is now my favorite layering turtleneck. By the way, it has come to my attention that layering a turtleneck under dresses is like my new thing, or at least people think it is because I was on the phone with one of my friends from high school and he said his girlfriend's friend was layering a turtleneck underneath her dress because of me. You guys don't give a shit. It was a nice, a nice little compliment and I'm glad that it's catching on. 
Next up, I got this little leopard skirt from Ecoat. I believe is how you say it, and it's a brand that Urban Outfitters carries, so you already know that I love it. The estimated original price was $45, and I got it for $9. I think it's so funny because this skirt was probably from like 2005. I don't know the last time that leopard print mini skirts were on trend. And then leopard print went out of trend and somebody donated it. And now I own it and it's exactly on trend again. I don't know, it's cool that something that was originally pretty fast fashion has now gone through multiple lifetimes. Okay, this is getting too deep. Anyways, I thought this skirt was really cute, and I actually wore this skirt with this turtleneck to a Smashbox event. It was like a very fancy event where people were wearing thousands of dollars worth of designer things, but I just had my fucking $10 skirt and my thrifted turtleneck, and I thought I looked pretty fucking fly too. Does anybody say fly anymore? Maybe I'm just exposing how lame I am. Oh, also bonus, this skirt has pockets, which we all know is a godsend because there's something so comforting about being able to put your phone in one pocket, your wallet in another pocket, and then roam free in the world without a purse. The next thing I got is this little flowy blue dress from Kamichi Blue, which is one of the really fancy brands that they sell at Urban Outfitters that I always wanted to buy when I was in high school, but I never had enough money to. So the estimated original price for this was $98, and I got it for 25 spicy dollarinos. I am always a sucker for a simple, flirty wrap dress because so much of my wardrobe is kind of constricting, like I have high-waisted jeans, I have bodycon dresses, and eventually you just get tired of sucking your stomach in and being boa constricted by stretch denim. So I have a couple wrap dresses and they're always my go-to for days that I want to look cute, but I don't really want to put that much effort into my outfit. I want to be comfortable. I want to let the winds flow up to my vagina. That was too much information. And the last thing that I got from ThreadUp was Okay, also from Urban Outfitters, there's definitely a theme going on here. This is an oversized denim jacket with some nice contrast stitching. Originally, this would have cost around $60, and I got it for $16. One six. 60 and 16. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but $16 for a denim jacket. I thought that was a pretty dang diddly darn good price, if I may say so myself. I also appreciate that the wash is very flat, it's dark, it's kind of classic and understated, which contrasts well with the more casual oversized silhouette, because if this was like light wash and distressed everywhere, it would feel a little bit too trendy farmer for me, and that's not the look that I'm going for. Even though it's January, I live in LA, so right now it's like 75 during the day, and then it gets down to maybe 60 at night. So a denim jacket is like the perfect layering piece. Normally during the day, I'll wear like a flirty little dress, and then at nighttime, I can throw this over. It makes it more casual. It also keeps me a little bit warm, but it makes sure that I don't look like I'm trying too hard because I'm always like trying so hard. I am the definition of a try hard. That just like is my personality, but pieces like this make me look a little bit more casual. So that is everything that I got from ThreadUp. I honestly think they are a great company doing great things for sustainable fashion. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have them linked below. And if you use the code BESTDRESSED30, then you can get 30% off your entire first order. Alrighty yo, now on to my other thrift finds. So first up, I got these blue floral Doc Martens, which are so fucking funky, and I was just so excited to find Docs in a thrift store, because I feel like most people have a very intense relationship with their Doc Martens, you know, like you save up for them, you buy them, and then you are hanging on to those babies for your entire life. You know, normally I'm not like the biggest fan of buying shoes in thrift stores because sometimes it can be weird to have your feet hanging out with somebody else's old feet sweat. But at least the pro with Doc Martens is that these are already broken in for me. So my feet are gonna be very grateful because, okay, this is gonna get a little bit foot fetishy for a second. But look at this shit, like, my feet are so beat up from my other docs. These boots obviously have a lot going on, but I was specifically thinking about pairing them with a white, flowy, feminine dress. I don't know, I love that, like, the print is feminine and fancy, and then the boot is like a combat boot, and then these are loud, and then my outfit would be simple, and it would be like all the juxtapositions in one. Of course, it would not be a best dressed thrift haul. God damn it, that is a tongue twister. Best dressed thrift haul without a couple vintage gingham dresses. So this is the first one that I got and hello picnic bitch. This is more like picnic lady. It's like picnic yes ma'am. This looks like something my British grandma would wear. I feel ready to settle down with the boy across the street and live in the same house for my entire life and also make a damn good cup of tea. It's probably gonna be pretty big on me in the modeling clips, but I'm gonna try to alter it. Maybe I'll do a thrift flip episode where I bring in the sides so it fits me a lot better. But dear Lord, I just love the color and the print on this and the fact that these gold buttons run all the way down the front. 
I'm such a fucking nerd for buttons. But look, they're like these gold buttons with little twisty around the edge, and they go all the way down the front. Like, come on, that is detail, man. I also got this Picnic Bitch dress. Very classic Picnic Bitch. It has the buttons up the front, it has a collar, it looks like it's made out of a picnic blanket. So all the things that I love in a dress. It's definitely a little big on me as well, but it has these ties in the back, so I think I'll be able to tie it so it doesn't look too oversized. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. It looks like something from Reformation. I think this would be so cute with a pair of, of espadrilles, I think is what they're called, those wedge sandals, or you could even dress it down with a pair of sneakers, layer a denim jacket over top. That would look so cool. I did get one thing that was like actually actively wintry, which is this masterpiece of a coat. This coat is somehow vintage but futuristic at the same time, which I thought was so interesting. I love all the details on it. It has a quilted lining, so it's really warm. It has this stitching around the shoulder that kind of reminds me of like a Star Trek commander. It has vents on the sleeve that open up. I don't know if that's for ventilation or just aesthetic purposes, but I thought it looked really cool. You guys always ask me for tips for thrifting, and if I have one tip, it is to always check the men's section. Probably like 50% of my favorite thrift finds have all come from the men's section. Men's clothing tends to be better quality. It also tends to be more classic because men's fashion is so, I wouldn't say unoriginal, but men's fashion, especially in the past, has evolved at such like a slower rate than women's fashion. It's basically like here are a bunch of different types of shirts in different shades of blue. It's where you can find really high quality brands like Tommy Hilfiger and Polo Ralph Lauren, and their t-shirt designs are somehow cooler and funkier. I don't know why. So here are a couple things that I got from the men's section. This dark green quarter zip from Banana Republic. It reminds me of something that a guy on the rowing team at Yale in the 50s would wear. It's very classic, it's very warm. It even has a little leather zipper pull, which you guys know I'm a sucker for details and I feel like that makes it so much fancier. So I'm excited to bundle up in this. Next up from the men's section, I got this t-shirt. This shirt is so comfortable, I never wanna take it off. It is the level of soft that can only be achieved after somebody's worn it as their pajama shirt for like 10 years in a row. Looks like it's from the 80s or 90s or something. It has a really funky graphic with a kinda, kinda creepy looking sun on it. Oh God, this sun is like the 80s version of the light moon emoji. Okay, I don't wanna make eye contact with that. I also got this little t-shirt that says Canyon Creek Summer Camp. I always love a good summer camp t-shirt because I feel like they have good vibes on them, you know? It kind of reminds me of like the old Coca-Cola font. It's very 50s brand. I'm also just a sucker for red t-shirts with white text or white t-shirts with red text. I think it's such a classic combination. This is a funky little number which says Mofo's Pizza, Lake Tahoe. I was explaining to David that I love this shirt because it has a pocket and he was like, you know that all shirts have pockets, but not women's t-shirts. It's so rare to find a woman's t-shirt with a pocket on the boob. So I was very excited. And on the back, it has this little lizard that's just chilling with his beer and his pizza, which is, I was gonna say he's my spirit animal, but I honestly feel like my spirit animal is a hamster just running around in a wheel fervently. My last t-shirt is this little embroidered Columbia one, which I hope I'm not like appropriating Columbia culture or something, but I did get in and I was thinking about going, but I didn't like their film school enough or like they didn't really have a film school. They just had a program where you watched old films and like wrote essays about them, which wasn't what I wanted to do. So I don't regret going to UCLA, but I do regret that our school colors are not nearly as cool as Columbia's. I don't know, I love their baby blue. I got this little velvet wrap top, which surprisingly is from Forever 21. I'm always shocked when I find stuff at the thrift store and I like try it on, I think it's really cute. Then I look at the tag and I'm like, holy shit, Forever 21 did that? So I don't endorse their methods of production, which are somewhat unethical and like the whole fast fashion thing. But if it's thrifted, why the hell not? I love the dusty rose color, the velvet, the wrap top so I can make it hug my boobs snugly. And it'll be a good kind of nicer top to pair with jeans. So it'll make me look like I'm trying harder than if I wore a t-shirt, but it's still not too fancy. Normally in thrift stores, I have the worst luck with denim. I normally don't even bother looking at the denim section anymore because I've just given up. Everybody in LA knows that vintage Levi's and vintage Wranglers and vintage high-waisted jeans are the thing to find. So everybody else has found them before me, but this time I did find something pretty fucking cool, which are these high-waisted pleated mom looking jeans. I actually found these in the men's section. So I'm not entirely sure if they're for men or women, but I just love the silhouette and I love the pleating detail. These are definitely gonna be a thrift flip plot, plot, plot project for me. Jesus Christ, I cannot talk, but 
I think if I can successfully dart them down into the right size for me, they look so cute. Lastly, I got this skirt, which looks like something that I'd buy new from Brandy Melville or Urban Outfitters. It's very unapologetically Christmassy, so I'm excited to whip this out next Christmas season. But in the meantime, I think it'll go really well with a bunch of my plain white tops that I have or a simple black sweater. I kind of have a problem with buying way too many plain black and white tops. Like, it's so satisfying to me to buy a top and be like, wow, I could pair this with anything. But then I realize I don't have any interesting bottoms to pair it with. So this will be one of those bottoms. All right, that brings me to the end of this thrift haul. For once, I have managed to film a video without getting incredibly sweaty. Like, I am at a great temperature right now. God damn it, life is going good. If you guys are interested in ThreadUp, again, feel free to check them out in the link below and use my code BESTDRESS30 for 30% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you to go thrifting or buy some stuff secondhand. Also, don't forget to drink a glass of water and spend a weekend without your phone once in a while. Oh God, I sound like my mom. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.